All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, put your hand up if you've already gone to sleep. <laughs> OK, cool. That was a lot of hands. All right. So uh, I'm going to talk about uh, EYG. Uh, this is a language that I've been developing. It runs on the Beam, in the browser, on Arduino, and a variety of other places. Uh, but I just want to talk about, or well, get you all excited, uh, as you can be, about effect types. Uh, so, yeah, ooh, there's one. Right, well, if you're already excited, then this talk's not for you. It's for people who aren't yet. <laughs> OK, so um, effect types, they're sort of, I mean, I think they're kind of arriving, which is why I want to talk about them. Um, they're not necessarily just in the type system. They're actually a runtime feature as well. Uh, so if, for example, we have uh, this program here, where we have uh, this uh, perform keyword. So perform means we're going to do an effect, and then effects are named. So here we're going to do a prompt effect, and here we're going to do an alert effect. And if we run these, we go, hello, Berlin. Cool. And we get, hello, Berlin, right? So effects essentially uh, represent everything that your program does that's not part of the core logic of a program. So other effects that we have, which is kind of interesting in this space, is non-determinism. So you know, we want to flip uh, something, and this is random. OK, so true or false. Um, if we put a list of these, then we can do another one. Let's do this. Maybe let's have a third one, because the odds are I'll be unlucky, and they'll all do the same if I don't. OK, so run this. True, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, false. Well, what? Well, it's one and eight. The odds are one and eight. I'm not going to say what are the chances. It's one and eight. There we go. It happened. OK, so that's, that's how you get started with effects. But why they're kind of interesting and powerful um, is that you can work with them. So these become, uh, these supersede non-determinism, kind of writing to disk, file systems, uh, fetch, for example, like remote effects, pulling in data. Um, but with one system, uh, you have one way of kind of working with them. So here we have a program. So actually, the key thing at the bottom is this run function. So let us do it without any capture. So let's take run. OK, it's going to do the alert effect. Got the message first. Got the message second. All right. But what we had earlier, we had, so variable capture, call it with run. OK. So what's going on here is we have this handle keyword. So handle is the opposite of perform. So uh, handle takes two arguments. It's not necessarily the clearest here. But this exec function is the thing we're going to run. Here we run it, so we call exec. And if it raises any alert effects, we capture them. So if it raises alert, what we do is we return. Uh, so here, so resume is the key point. So I'm pointing at the screen, and no one can see that. So <laughs> when we perform alert, it's raised with the value. Resume means go back to the rest of the code. That's the thing. So uh, maybe just to, well, maybe just make this clearer. I have no idea what the time is. I'm just going to keep going, I think, until we run out. So instead of resuming, we could resume with something more interesting. So we could resume with, say, the string yo. All right, cool. That's, that works well. That's about right. Uh, and then we go down here, and we take the value back. So we give this a name. Okay, uh, return. Bam. Uh, down here, let's make this the value return. Cool. So here we've where we can see that we've actually, the resume follows all the way through. So here's the interruption, and we're going to resume it. Uh, so for the last minute, which I think is about what we've got, uh, this is something which probably takes more than a minute of looking to get, uh, but it is uh, kind of fascinating what you can do with this. So here we have a handle. We have this flip effect. We have this run function. This run function performs flip twice. And performing flip twice, so v, run it, call it, let's run it, we produce um, a first and a second flip. And as we can see, they're different every time because we're doing the real effects. Yay. Um, and a few minutes more, delete, v, so capture, call it, uh, run. This, what we're doing here, we resume with both the true and the false, the rest of the program. The program is put in a list. And we flatten all the various responses we get. So this uh, enumerates over every possible outcome that this program might produce. And if we scroll through the list at the bottom, we can see the options are first and second could be true. Uh, first and second, the first could be true, the second could be false. You could have false and true, or you could have two firsts. So yeah, 
Uh, that's effects. I think actually they are going to arrive in more languages. Um, talk to me if you're interested or about EYG. Cheers.